It's October, motherfuckers. It is time, and we are back in the crypt tonight. Welcome back, everyone, my friends. It is time. The equinox has happened. It is officially fall. It's all over. Summer's all over. And uh, it is, it's time. It's time to get our fucking shit together and get ready for the winter and get ready for the new fucking year. It's time to show up. It's time to do this. So, um, let's start off with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of uh, metal news and a little bit of view askew news. Tell you what, it's been a long fucking long weekend, long 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 weekend. Um, but uh, over the weekend, the fucking it came out that uh, one Mister James Hetfield has re-entered rehab, and that was uh, very surprising to me. Um, and I, I fucking wish him the absolute, and Metallica the absolute best. Um, Metallica, you know, and I've talked about this before. For me, Metallica will always, always hold a very special place to me. They are one of my, like, inaugural bands. They're one of the first bands that I got. They're the first, Metallica Master of Puppets was the first album that I ever listened to so many times that, and I kept it in perfect condition, but the, the, the laser from my CD player burned so many scratches into it over time that I had to replace it and get a new copy. Uh, I listened to it that many times. I was obsessed top to bottom over and over and over and over and over. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Black Album, and I'm not a big fan of anything really after the Black Album. But their first, first four albums, to me, are some of the most definitive albums ever in heavy metal history. I will always fucking, they will always hold a special place to me for that. Um, So definitely uh, uh, thoughts go out. Also, it occurred to me, I was like, okay, so if James is in rehab, Dave Mustaine is fighting throat cancer right now. Thoughts also wish him well. Um, And Slayer is retiring. So Anthrax is the last one standing of the big four currently, <laughs> at the moment at least. Um, and uh, they're supposed to have a new album coming out, I thought, this year. Uh, I've been hearing fuck it, the things I've heard about it. I, I re- it's supposed to be really heavy. I really want to fucking hear it. Um, crossing my fingers for a release this year still, but maybe we're looking at it next year at this point. Who knows? Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, I just I could not believe that the big four is in shambles right now, ladies and gentlemen. The big four is in shambles, my friends. Um, view some some view askew news. Some more of uh, uh, news out of the world of Jay and Silent Bob came out today. Uh, besides the fact that reboot is coming out in two weeks. Uh, Kevin Smith announced today that Clerks 3 is happening. Clerks 3 is coming. Dante and Randall will finally get their, the closing to the, their story, the one that they deserve. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm beyond excited. I'm beyond excited for that. I'm uh, obviously, uh, ecstatic for Jay and Bob reboot. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Fuck. I'm just so happy for him and for all of us fans that that get all this now. Uh, it's it's a very exciting time uh, to be a fan of a lot of things. So that's really cool, which is really what this is about, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention those things. Um, again, reboots coming out in two weeks. Get your tickets fathomevents.com or get your tickets to the Reboot Roadshow. Because I already have mine, so if you're going in Michigan, let me know. They'll be in Grand Rapids, and they'll be in Detroit towards the like think I think the la- the last week of October, I believe. Um, let me know if you're hearing this and you're in Michigan and you're going. Let me know to any of them, or more specifically, if you're in Lansing and going to the, either of the Fathom events, let me know. Uh, because when I bought my tickets, my tickets were the only two tickets sold in the house in the theater for that showing at that time. And I was like, what the fuck? Made me, honestly, if I had the money, I would have bought the whole theater and just given the tickets out to everyone I know. Like, oh, that would have been awesome. Uh, Absolutely would have done that if I had the money on the spot. Um, But yeah, so, very exciting. Very exciting news out of there. But it has been quite the weekend for me, personally. 
uh, and for some dear, dear friends of mine. Uh, last Thursday, uh, I met up with a friend of the show, Jordan, who has been on multiple times. Uh, it's hard. I, I like to get him on as much as I can, but it's hard uh, with him because he has to work so much. But he, uh, so I, I've said it before that part of the, like the, I don't know, the reason behind this podcast is a attempt in my part, an attempt to capture really great conversations that I've had with my friends over the years. And Jordan is one of, if not the one I've had most of these those kind of conversations with that I would want to be on a podcast. Uh, this is why I love having him on. And uh, we've known each other for over 50% of our lives. We're both 29, and we've both known each other for over 15 years. Um, so I met up with him and his fiance on Thursday, and uh, they got in their car, I got in mine, and I followed them up to Mackinac City, Michigan. <clears throat> and uh, which, is, which is awesome because I love being up north so much. Northern Michigan in the summertime is probably my favorite place that I've ever been to in the world. Uh, just, I mean, I love other places. Don't get me wrong. I love Scotland. I fucking love going tropical places from time to time and stuff like that. But Northern Michigan is just... It just, I don't know, my soul. That's where my soul lives, it feels like sometimes. Um, so we go up there. Um, we hop on a boat, a ferry, which takes us to Mackinac Island, where we arrive for Jordan and Gabby's wedding, which is taking place the following day. Uh so off the rip, this this is a pretty surreal experience, uh, just for me personally. I'm the best man at the wedding. This is my best friend. Uh, some the only people I've known longer than him in my life are people that are blood related to me. Other than that, I don't know anybody as long as I've known him. So being being at a, when when you have someone in your life that is a friend at that level, you know, and then being at their wedding. And and Jordan is, uh, you know, he's he's fucking probably he's he yeah he's one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life by far. He's actually like a fucking like on paper like in school genius four point whatever the fuck he wants any any time. He got to the point in high school where he didn't even have he tested out of homework. Let that sink in. He tested out of. Having to do homework. He tested so high on his scores. They're like, well, as long as you come in and get good grades on the tests, you don't have to do the homework. Because you obviously don't really need to. <laughs> like, it, it was that fucking crazy. So, for him to not only uh, get engaged to someone, but to get married and to be so sure about it. It was a genuinely like a very moving experience for me, like to see someone I consider a brother uh, be that way and have that. You know what I mean? So we get there on Thursday, and we uh, we we check in to the Mission Point Hotel Resort, which is where we're having the wedding. Fucking stunning! It looks like a gigantic gigantic log is logs is kind of like what it's made out of it looks like a gigantic log tree house that's like 50 feet tall you know what i mean it's fucking the entry lobby way is fucking gorgeous and the ra the the round that's the name of the bar the round uh, same deal just stunning glass walls looking out on the water fucking stunning uh and uh yeah we uh so we get in we check in we Set everything down, you know what I mean? Go downstairs to meet the members of Gabby's family that have already arrived. Uh, we have dinner reservations at 7.30, I think, at this point. It's around 5, 6 o'clock. And we, you know, have a few drinks, chill, whatever. Uh, have a good time. And we all go down for dinner. Again, very good time. Very good dinner. At the fucking fresh-caught white fish, baby. So good up north. So good, because they catch that shit that day. It's so good. Uh, and then... Uh, and then yeah, that was uh well hold on. No, we uh we stayed 
Yeah, we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Jordan and I had a drink. One last drink at the bar. We had a. Uh, we had uh, just chilling. We ended up. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was sitting there, sitting there, and he was kind of on his phone. I was kind of on mine, but it's like, you know, fuck this. We need to. I want to talk. I'm sitting here with you at a bar the night before your wedding. I want to talk like we used to. You know what I mean? And uh, so I uh, I look over at him and I go, uh, "Did you hear about the uh, those UFOs?" And that led to like a solid, glorious forty five minute long conversation about the possibility of alien existence in in the universe and what it could mean. And it oh, it was so much fun. It was wonderful. Um, then he went up to his room. I went up to mine for a minute. Got too bored, so I came back down to close down the bar. Had a few more drinks. Uh, walked around a little bit outside because it was just such a gorgeous property. Like, and oh yeah, I, I went outside and uh, I was uh, uh, smoking. And I don't, I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but on Mackinac Island, you're not allowed to have a car. Cars are banned on the island, apparently, unless you're fucking vice president. Um, but so there's no you don't hear any car engines and like you stand out there and just hear that kind of silence with the waves lapping but what you do hear are fucking horses because everyone gets around in a horse and buggy still basically like you know horse taxis and stuff you know the whole island's only a few miles long so it's not you know it's makes sense so, like, you're just standing there hearing the silence and the waves and the wind, and then you hear the horses coming up this fucking brick road, and you just... <sighs> I was like, oh, okay. See, Jordan go- loves Mackinac Island so much, he goes up there every year. And he's gone up, the- up there every year with Gabby since they've been together. So it's kind of like their spot. And I'm standing out there... Because I-, I personally... As as an adult, I've never been to the island. I've only been to the island a few times when I was quite a bit younger. Uh, and I've never stayed the night on the island. I've only been there during the day for, like, you know, a tour or whatever. But I've always spent time in the city, Mackinac City. I really, I really enjoy Ma- Mackinac City quite a lot, actually. Um, but I'm standing up there, having, like, just out there in the night, and I was, it, that, and it hit, like, hearing the horse walk up, it hit me. I was like, oh... I get why Jordan fucking loves this place. Like it is, it is a rare spot. It is a, it is one of those rare spots in the world that's just fucking pristine still, and you know, untouched by many things, but still, you know, all, all you know, every amenity you you need. You know what I mean? Uh and uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thursday night, and then so I did that. Went upstairs, went to bed, woke up Friday for the rehearsal. Okay, so this is where we run through what we're going to do at 3.30 during the wedding ceremony. Uh, and we, uh, yeah, we run through it. Originally, we were planning on, they were planning on having it at, like, a little gazebo set up out near the beach, but it ended up raining pretty bad. So we altered uh, for the tent, which was set up kind of up high in between the two, like, hotel buildings. But the view was unreal. The view of the water was spectacular. And I honestly, I think, I think it kind of like kind of turned out like better than it otherwise was, would have. I think, it, I think it was really, really good. Uh, and uh, so yeah, we do the rehearsal, uh, and then we all split up. Jordan and I go uh, downtown to grab us a bottle of Johnny Walker Black Label to fill our flasks with, and uh, walk on back to the hotel. Fucking. Uh, gather our things and 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 prepare. We suit up, as they say. We fucking suit up. So uh, that <laughs> that was entertaining, to say the least. Uh, f- for the re- look, okay, look. I, I for anyone who doesn't know, the only clothes that I wear, okay, the only clothes that I wear are cargo shorts, jeans, and band T-shirts. Occasionally a hoodie and a jacket. Right. That's it. That I don't have. That's my style. It's the metalhead. You know what I mean. That's genuinely how I dress every single day of my life. So suits, you know, and I've worn a lot of suits over the years, but uh, suits are have always been weird to me. So weird, because uh, they're not quite super comfortable all the time. And you'd think they would be. Like you'd think it'd be luxury. You know what I mean. 
Uh, so, and, and for the record, for the record, fuck a pocket square. It, it took us a long time to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think it all came together and we, we looked pretty sharp. Uh, filled up the flasks and, uh, started just kind of milling about, walking around, making sure things were in order. And it got to the point where it was like, I don't know, like one o'clock, one thirty, like a couple hours. We still had time to kill basically. And, uh, we were like, Jordan literally went up to like the wedding planner guy and was like, what do I do now? Like, what, what should I be doing right now? And he goes, honestly, go to the bar and get a drink. Which is funny because Jordan and I had just left the bar. <laughs> so now someone was telling us to go back to it. We're like, well, got to do what the man says. So went back to the bar. Had a few more drinks. Uh, then I think that's about when we uh, walked around outside for a minute. Um, and uh, it, for those of, like, I don't remember the name of the alcohol, but one of J- fav- Jordan's favorite commercials ever is... Uh, the one where it's like a bunch of Irish guys and it's raining and they're all dressed. It almost looks like a funeral and they sit down and they're drinking and they're like to our brother and they're singing this like kind of somber Irish song. And, uh, and it, yeah, it's raining and everything. You, again, you think it's a funeral and then a door opens on a church, you hear wedding bells and it's a bride and you realize it's a wedding. And so it's like a really cool commercial. Uh, so me and Jordan kind of had a little moment like that because it was raining, and uh, so we stepped outside and drank some from our flasks and uh, listened to that same song. And yeah, it was. Oh, we just looked out on the water. Oh my god, it was a fucking trip. It was really cool. So then, uh, yeah, at that point we mill around a bit, make sure everything else is in order, take care of the last final little, little uh, nuts and bolt details, and then at three fifteen he goes up to the altar. And uh, I hang back into the, in the lobby of the hotel, wait and, and with the uh, maid of honor, and I wait, we await the bride. Um, and we go. I think it was scheduled at three thirty. We were started walking at like three thirty four. It was perfect. Uh, walk out. The rain. It wasn't raining when we walked out. Um, and uh, and yeah, it went off without a fucking hitch. Uh. Absolutely. He killed it. Um, she killed it. Gabby was... Th- Honestly, Gabby's wedding dress is probably the prettiest I've ever seen in person. Like, I've never really thought a wedding dress was pretty. That one was pretty. Like, legit. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the c- ceremony went off perfectly. Uh, and then, yeah. And then we took a few pictures. Uh, and then... M- Everybody but the bride and groom went into the reception the, uh, to have like some drinks and hors d'oeuvres while the uh, bride and groom went out and took some more pictures. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it was great there. Uh, and then, though, <laughs> there was an open bar. And I, you know, I'm at my best fucking friend's wedding in the world. I got hammered. Straight hammered like not too quick or anything i wasn't fucking i was definitely a little crazy but i wasn't fucking you know bad you know we're all good everything was good all night everything literally went off without a fucking hitch uh definitely got completely annihilated though and do not have memory of gigantic chunks of the night there are pictures that i do not remember taking uh be or being take pictures of me that i do not remember being taken or posing for uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was absolute, it was an absolute blast. It was an absolute blast. Me and Jordan, uh, got to smoke my last, the last Dijon Black I own. For those of you that don't know what a Dijon Black is, before the year 2008, there were uh, things called clove cigarettes and the Dijon Black was an all black cigarette. It's the most metal looking cigarette by far. And that's what we used to smoke, and they became outlawed in 2008. So it's really hard to get them nowadays. Uh, but I had one left from a pack that I got long ago and saved it for a special occasion. And I was like, well, there's never going to be an occasion quite like this one again. So, and uh, yeah, we had, a, we had a really good moment, and uh, we, we had a really great time at that wedding. Uh, everyone danced, everyone drank, everyone ate, everyone laughed. Nobody cried. Well, yeah, no, nobody nobody cried unless it was good crying. <laughs> uh, 
And then and then the reception ended at eight, and then everyone just vanished. Like everyone but like me, Jordan, Gabby, the maid of honor, and uh like a couple of like couple just a couple other people. Like everyone just disappeared. So instead of like going out on the town to another bar, we just kinda went to the round again. And continued on there. Which was again a good time. It was a very good time. And then we went out and smoked uh, a cigarette. And then uh I proceeded to uh decide that it's Jordan's wedding, and I needed to smoke a joint, so I went ahead and waited till um, there was nobody in the lobby because I didn't have a lighter, and apparently in the fucking hotel didn't have a book of fucking matches. What the fuck world are we living in? Uh, so I had to light the joint in the fireplace and run outside, and I proceeded to book it down to the beach and uh, stood on the beach and smoked, and it was... It was fucking spiritual. I tell you that right now. It was a great experience. Just like that relaxed calm of and of everything that just happened, taking it all in in that moment was uh was fucking awesome. It was really special. So all in all, epic weekend, epic time at the wedding. Um unbelievably happy for both of them uh to have had such a spectacular time. I know they were stressed out. I know Jordan especially like was dreading he was literally dreading this not he was dreading this because all he all he needed for himself he's like oh I, i'm good with going down to the courthouse with her and nobody needs to know like i just want to be married to her that's all i want none of this other frill shit matters to me so and and he was dreading it because he he has uh you know everybody's got their family members put it that way uh but no, I mean, I, I think it all turned out better than either of them could have even hoped for or, or were expecting. And uh, I, I'm just so happy it did because it turned out so beautiful. And they, that's what they deserved. That's what I think they deserved. Uh, the, ha- put it this way. This is the third fucking wedding I've been a best man at. This it was not just the most legit, but the uh, best by far the best wedding I have been to as an adult. By far. It was fantastic. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, everything, yeah, everything went really, really great. And uh, I'm just really, really happy for them. And, uh, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit on the, on the podcast about my experience up there and kind of what it's like, what it was like for me having my, you know, Besides Preston, the closest thing I have to a brother on this earth, get married to the woman that he loves. And for her, like, you know, it's everything. You know what I mean? Like, I I think she's awesome. I think she's great for him. Perfect for him, really. Uh, you know, it's it's just all the cards lined up. You know what I mean? And that doesn't happen very often. You know? Especially with a best friend like me. I like to vet people, all right? You got to... Look, if you want to come into our group, our circle, I'm going to need to fucking vet your ass, all right? I'm going to need to make sure you're good enough to be involved with the people that I love and care about, motherfucker. (laughs) So, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's all, it's all, everything just was great. So, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. It was it was uh it was a really great time and it was and thank you guys thank you guys for having if you hear this I don't know if they listen or not to be honest but if they hear this um I w- uh thank you for having me up there and uh, I had an amazing time and thank you for everything and uh, I love you both so much and um, it's not like I won't see you soon I see you almost every week so but uh man started the new chapter you know what I mean they're the new team now. It's not Jordan and I anymore. It's Jordan and Gabby now. And now, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. I'm just really happy for both of them. Unbelievably happy for both of them. My, my best friends. So, ah, so awesome. Okay, so that's, I don't know. I, I just, I just want to talk about that. I had to get some of that out. You know what I mean? I wanted to fucking just discuss it, get it out a little bit. It was, it was a surreal experience for me personally. Uh, very, very surreal. And, uh, yeah, very good time. Very good time. Very happy time. So awesome. 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 All around. And then, 
And then, so I got back to Lansing on Saturday, and then on Sunday, went downtown Lansing to witness greatness, known as the Black Dahlia fucking murder live in Lansing, motherfuckers! Can you believe it? Oh my god, bands like that never come here! And Dahlia was here downtown! And we went, not just me, everyone, almost everyone from Balgraith. And uh, Aaron and Mike from Bogwraith will be back on to talk about that. Uh, that episode will come out Monday. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to get into it right now. But that's what's coming up next. As well as I finally got my copy of uh, my hard copy of the new album. Savages with a Z is the name of the band. The album is New Dimension. Look, New Dimensions. Look them up. Look up the album, look up the songs, my review, I, the, now that the hard copy is here, my review, I will be recording, and that will be out uh, Thursday or Friday for sure. So, a little bit to look forward to, and then also this week, um, yeah, well, yeah, 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 more more to look for. I won't get into it, but more to look forward to for sure. Uh, don't worry, just because I've missed a couple Mondays does not mean we're asleep. We are, it's October, motherfuckers, we're kicking it up, we're back and uh, we're moving like a freight train. So uh, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we ramble about uh, my best friend in the world getting married. So uh, yeah, that that's all I got. That's it. Um, and I will be back. Uh, I'm Maybe I'll do one more episode this week. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. But if not, definitely review this week and new episode Monday with Mike from Bog, Mike and Aaron from Bog Ray. They'll be back. They'll be back. It's very exciting. Very excited. So that's it for me. And uh, I, I wish you all, I hope you all had a very good weekend. I hope you all have an excellent week. It's time to, it's time to step the games up, everybody. It's time, to, it's time to step the game up, support local music, look out for each other, and uh, support your local bands. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it for me tonight, everyone. So uh, fucking raise your horns, bang your goddamn heads. I love you all to death. Good night.